A nemesis, um, uh, one of the most important things was the opening scene. Um, it's a key to the rest of the story and it's the first time that I, you know, spent so much time planning uh, and setting up the opening scene. Um, and it also uh, gives a set of rules for the rest of the story. Um, it says that, okay, um, if you read that the writer is doing one thing with his left hand, the important things are probably going on with his right hand. So you have to look really carefully. And it's not always that what you see is, uh, is what's really going on. Or more specifically, um, it's, uh, it's, uh, uh, you can also make illusions uh, when, when writing. Um, and it's a technique uh, that are used in my later novels. And uh, it also probably led me to focusing very much on the opening chapter of my uh, novels to come. Uh, because I think that if you can't hook the, the reader in, your, uh, in the first 10 pages, um, uh, you've lost. And um, also, for, for you know by yourself that if you can see the story, your own story in the first 10 pages, uh, that gives you the confidence and uh, uh, the confirmation that yes, you, ha you have a great story to tell. So you sort of not only have to convince the reader, but you have to convince yourself also. During the writing of uh, Nemesis, I asked a friend of mine who was, uh, uh, or actually a neighbor, but also a friend who was living uh, um, uh, in, the, uh, in the same uh, uh, apartment building that I, that I was living. I used this apartment building for, uh, for the story, so um, it's, uh, uh, it was very close to home, you know, the uh, part of that story, and there was a, a woman living in that apartment building, um, and I asked my, my neighbor and friend if it was okay if I used his apartment, uh, and uh, he had a uh, gymnastic apparatus uh, in a room where it was only this apparatus, and uh, <laughs> he was, you know, a uh, sort of crazy guy, and, and, and he had this huge apartment. But I was so fascinated with, uh, with this room. Uh, and so he told me that it was, you know, very difficult for him um, because he, he, he's a very sensitive guy, um, he's an actor, and he said that, okay, that some, somebody's getting killed in my apartment, that is, you know, that is very hard for me, so I, I don't know if I can let you do that. And I said, I totally understand that, and I'll use another apartment. But then he thought about it for a day, and he came back and said, that, no, you have to use my apartment. No, I don't have to do that. I said, yeah, I, I, I insist that, you know, I'm, I'm an artist, and um, this is, uh, you know, um, I'll do anything for, for art, so I'll let you use my apartment. apartment. And I said, no, 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 it's okay. I already chose another apartment. And then he got angry and said, you promised that you would use my apartment and how you used my apartment. And so in the end, I, um, I used his uh, apartment, you know, every detail in it. Um, and it's, um, I just wrote that uh, first chapter about this apartment uh, uh, a couple of months ago. And I just laughed because, you know, I thought about uh, this friend of mine who, who in the end forced me to use his apartment. In Nemesis, um, um, almost uh, all of the story is in, is in Oslo. Uh, there is a short trip to uh, Brazil uh, and this um, sort of happy, uh, hippie paradise in Brazil. Um, and I was there when I was very young. Uh, it's a very remote place and uh, uh, so I had already done the research for that part of the story. The rest of the story is uh, taking place in Oslo. And um, it's very strange because when you live in a city uh, for so many years as I have, you would think that you know most of the streets, most of the buildings, you know your city. But uh, I ended up doing research in my neighborhood, just uh, going on my bike, uh, taking pictures and looking at the houses because I realized I'd lived there for so long that I had stopped looking. Um, so um, uh, it was a novel where I didn't have to go far to do uh, research, but I still I had to do the research. I think what, uh, what I wanted to do with Nemesis 
after having written The Red Breast, which was a very complicated story uh, with uh, echoes from the past. Uh, it was uh, part of a World War II story. I wanted to write a real crime story um, in, a, uh, in a more narrow setting uh, with not that many persons. Um, not necessarily a um, simpler story uh, plot-wise, but uh, a, a more compact story. Uh, that, that's what I wanted to do with, uh, with uh, Nemesis. And uh, uh, I think that uh, I spent probably more time working on the plot in the Nemesis that, that I had done with any of my previous books. Uh, I think I, I spent nearly one year just working out the plot. So it was a very uh, uh, plot-oriented story. I think that Nemesis is, um, is uh, probably the novel that, uh, that divides my, my, my readers. Uh, some of them are happy with Nemesis to think that The Red Burst was a better novel, but uh, uh, surprisingly many of my readers have uh, Nemesis as their absolute favorite.